The New York Knicks offensive futility was highlighted in the playoffs. So this offseason, they needed to focus on getting shooters and shot creators. And while Dante DiVincenzo will help to some degree, they still needed to focus on getting more shooters and more shot creators, especially ones who can shoot the three. But thanks to recent reports, it seems that a three-point specialist will soon be available via trade. And the New York Knicks are listed as one of the favorites to land him. We're going to break down the report, look at exactly who this player is, how he can help the New York Knicks, and what potential trade packages the New York Knicks could send over to get this player on their team for next season. We're going to look into this and so much more today. Let's get started. The New York Knicks are apparently interested in adding Buddy Heald from the Indiana Pacers. Now, if you've been following the story in Indiana, then you know exactly what I know. The Indiana Pacers have been trying to trade Buddy Heald for the better part of a few seasons now, and to an extent, Miles Turner. The unfortunate part for them is they haven't found the right return package that they're willing to accept, so they haven't made a trade yet. But that doesn't mean they're not going to. And according to reports, they may have to. So Shams reported the following. After contract extension negotiations stalled out, Buddy Heald and the Indiana Pacers have started dialogue to work on finding a potential trade. That's what league sources told The Athletic. And then after that was reported, we found out that an NBA executive who spoke to the NBA Analysis Network stated that two teams are known to already have interest in acquiring Heald the New York Knicks, and the Miami Heat. And that speaks volumes to me because it tells me the New York Knicks know exactly what they need. More three-point shooting, especially somebody who can shoot the three as good and as efficiently as Buddy Heald. He has been one of the best three-point shooters in the entire NBA. That's up there with Dame and that's up there with Steph Curry. You heard me right. And if he is available, especially for a trade that's favorable, I would absolutely jump at the chance of getting him. I think he is the perfect match for the New York Knicks. Coming off the bench, starting, whatever you want to put him as. His shooting, what he can do as stretching the floor and spacing the floor is absolutely crucial and essential for this New York Knicks team. They have drivers in RJ Barrett, Julius Randle, and Jalen Brunson. To open up the lanes more, you need to have more threats on the perimeter. How do you do that? By adding more three-point shooting. DiVincenzo is one, but Buddy Hill? That is absolutely another type of player. I say that because while Dante DiVincenzo can shoot the three, and he is a good three-point shooter for his career, and I'll give him that. And he can also play make. There's a lot of good things about Dante. I'm not trying to take anything away from him or the signing by the New York Knicks. But if the New York Knicks were able to get Buddy Heald, they would be making an upgrade from three that is unprecedented. They probably could make the argument that they would snatch up that third spot in the East because of this addition. That's how impactful he is in terms of shooting the three. In case you guys didn't know, the odd makers in the NBA via Sportsline state that the New York Knicks are one of the top teams to get Buddy Heald if he's traded from the Indiana Pacers. The Pelicans at plus 300, the Mavs at plus 300, and then you got the New York Knicks at plus 500. So you're telling me there's a chance? Yes, there is a chance. And in my opinion, it's a very, very good chance. Buddy Heal wants to win. He wants to go to a team that's going to give him a legitimate chance to win. Maybe he comes off the bench. Maybe he starts. I think it's about the money, showcasing his ability, and going somewhere that gives him the best chance to win. And right now, if he comes to the New York Knicks, the Knicks will be able to showcase those abilities so extraordinarily because they have so many good people in the paint in terms of players that are drivers. Jalen Brunson, elite footwork. R.J. Barrett, when he's aggressive and driving to the rim, so good. Julius Randle, a bull, so strong in the paint. He can play bully ball whenever he wanted. He does rely on the three a lot, but if he wanted to, he could bully the paint all day. So if you have players like that, 
You need other players that can stretch the floor. Buddy Heal will complement that. And it's great to hear that not only that the New York Knicks have interest in adding him, but that the New York Knicks are one of the top teams in terms of being the favorites to get him. It's music to my ears. Now, a lot of Knicks fans don't understand why we may need another guard. And I hear you on that. I don't want any guard because I think adding each and every guard to this team doesn't make sense. But if you're adding key additions, key guards, I'm okay with that. Let's look at some figures here for a second in case you guys have forgotten. It's been talked about many times here according to Bleacher Report, but I want to say it again. The Knicks outside shooting last season left much to be desired. In the regular season, they attempted the eight most three-pointers per game and shot 35.4% from three, 19th in the league. And then the playoffs. The New York Knicks only hit 29.2% of their threes. 29.2% of our threes in the playoffs. That offensive futility is why we lost against the Miami Heat, why we didn't sweep the Cavs, but we barely beat them in some games because we let them come back game after game after game because we allowed them to shoot themselves back into the game and we couldn't respond because we had nobody capable of shooting the three or making a bucket really behind Jalen Brunson and to a degree RJ Barrett. You can't have that. You need more diversity, especially from your players. You get a player like Buddy Heal, those problems kind of go away a lot more than you think because Buddy Heal, in terms of his career, is one of the best three-point shooters in the entire NBA. I know you heard me say it again, and I'm going to keep on saying it. First of all, look at the players on this list. Steph Curry, Dame Lillard, Klay Thompson, and Buddy Heal. That's one reason. Another reason, career three-point made per game, 40.2% for heel. Steph Curry, in comparison, is 42.8%. Dame Lillard, 37.2%. Klay Thompson, 41.6%. So technically, for his career, he's a better three-point shooter than Dame Lillard is. And I know Dame sometimes shoots from the logo because he can do that. He is that dangerous and I will give him that. I'm just talking about numbers here. And this is what the numbers say. And we have to respect it and understand what they mean. And this is why I want to add him. Because that type of production is exactly what the New York Knicks need. You talk about perfect fit. You talk about perfect match. But he healed. He's it. And according to Daily Knicks, Buddy Heald, known as one of the top shooters in the league, has been a consistent deep threat. The former Oklahoma Sooner has shot 36 to 42% from three every year of his career. He is one of five players in NBA history to hit 200 plus three pointers in five straight seasons. The other four Steph Curry, Clay Thompson, James Harden, and Damian Lillard. That's quite the company to be around, but Buddy Heald is part of that. I know he's a guard, guys. I know that's one of the main reasons you don't want him, because why would you want more guards on this team? We already are chock full of guards. We don't need any more, and I understand that. But I think if the New York Knicks trade for Buddy Heald, he's the first step in another move, because I feel another move would be coming after that. Because if you add somebody like that, then you're right. One of these guards, or a couple of these guards, are going to have to go and they're going to have to be traded. And they might be traded in a package for another player that can help the New York Knicks contend in the East this season. Because I argue again that the Eastern Conference is wide open, especially at that number three spot. A spot that the New York Knicks could jump into. And if Buddy Heald is on the team, I would give the New York Knicks one of the best shots to take that spot. That's how impactful him and his three-point shooting is. It's that good. But I know what you guys are thinking. What about the trade? Because we can sit here. We can talk about how good he is. We can talk about how great he is. We can talk about how much we want him. But the real question is, what are potential trade packages 
for Buddy Heal to come to the New York Knicks? Great questions, and I can't wait to answer it because some of the trade packages are crazy egregious, and then there's one that I absolutely agree with. So one of the trade packages I'll start out with is one of the more egregious ones. The New York Knicks receive Buddy Heal, and the Indiana Pacers receive Evan Fournier, and two future first-round picks from the Knicks. Likely protected top 10, top 15. It doesn't matter because they're likely going to convey because the Knicks are going to be good enough for them to convey. So there's no way I am doing that deal. That deal right there is egregious. The New York Knicks don't have to do it. And if they did a deal like that, it wouldn't make any sense. It wouldn't make sense for the person that Leon Rose has showcased himself to be. He will never overpay for somebody. He will pay market value or he'll underpay and try to get that player. But he is not going to overpay to get anybody. He didn't do it for Paul George when Paul George wanted to sweeten the deal a little bit to get that extension money. He walked away and said no. Basically, what a lot of people thought was that was a done deal and he walked away from it. If that's the case, you can bet your bottom dollar that it's going to be the case here with Buddy Heal. Going to more of a trade that I believe the New York Knicks would absolutely do. And this is a trade. If it's on the table, I am absolutely doing it. The New York Knicks get Buddy Hill. And the Indiana Pacers get Evan Fournier. A 2024 second round pick via Detroit. A 2025 second round pick via Brooklyn. And a 2029 second round pick via the Indiana or Washington Wizards. Now that is a trade that I would absolutely do because that gets one disgruntled player, Buddy Heal, off the Pacers and onto the Knicks, a place where he can help win, which is what he wants to do. Evan Fournier gets off the Knicks. He's another disgruntled player. He goes over to Indiana. He becomes that veteran shooter that they may need. He comes off the bench for them. He helps in the locker room, whatever you want to say. He's just off the Knicks and he's gone in that trade as well too. And of course, we got to remember, contract-wise, he's an expiring team option for next season. The team can waive him. He's off the books. No harm, no foul. So they can definitely do this and get some draft compensation in the process in terms of second-round picks from the New York Knicks. So if the Indiana Pacers are interested and they take this deal, if I'm the New York Knicks, I'm taking this deal and I am running away with it. You can get one of the best three-point shooters in the league for this? Absolutely, I am doing it. And then, whether he starts or he comes off the bench, he is going to help this Knicks team so much, especially in the postseason. You want somebody who's going to help have a consistent shot, consistent three-point shot, he's going to help you do that. He's going to help the New York Knicks. He's going to make those corners deadlier. He's going to have to make defenses collapse on the corners, which is going to allow your great drivers, especially Jalen Brunson, to dance so much more in the paint. Use that footwork and get anything he wants. But you tell me, guys, do you think this is a perfect match for the New York Knicks? Would you do any one of these trades to acquire Buddy Heal and get him on the New York Knicks? Or would you say no to these trades and look elsewhere for another player? Let me know in the comments. I would love to hear from you. But if you like this video, go ahead and leave a comment below. Smash that like button and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Until next time, Nick fans. Peace.